A Knoxville man who lost his leg a year ago has come a long way, all thanks to a breakthrough prosthetic device. Covering Medicine Tonight, Sixers anchor Lori Tucker has the inspiring story. He really does have quite a story. The man you're about to meet has made the most out of life. He's a former physicist at Y-12, a Cold War patriot. He even had his own rock band at one point. Well, now Larry Austin is enjoying life in a different way after a debilitating condition led to the loss of his right leg. It's one of Larry Austin's favorite things to do, go outside and hit some golf balls. But just one year ago, Larry thought his golfing days were over. And I got home and I took my golf shoes and my socks off and my foot was black and blue. He rushed to the emergency room where doctors found he had dislocated four bones in his right foot. Larry ended up having surgery. He put four screws in my right foot to put the bones back into position, which was great, except the surgical wound on top of my foot was so big, about the size of an egg, and so deep, it went all the way down to the bone, and it wouldn't heal. After surgery, Larry was diagnosed with a nerve disease that left his feet and legs numb diabetes, and something called charco foot, where the bones separate from the joints. He had two skin graft operations that didn't work. Then he developed a raging bone infection and was left with just one option, amputate his leg. I didn't go through the blaming everybody. You know, a lot of people want to blame God. Why me? Well, why not me? <laughs> I know that God can use me a whole lot better with one leg than he could with two. Only two months after surgery, Larry had healed enough to be fitted for a prosthetic. <laughs> so then you stick this thing on <clears throat> and you stand up to make sure that it's fitting in there nice and tight. At Premier Prosthetic Center in Knoxville, he learned about the new innovative device called the Edison. The leg has a built-in vacuum pump designed for active people just like Larry. And, and I think it's a prime example of how quickly and how well uh, prosthetic technology is evolving uh, to more closely adapt to uh, natural human function. These days, Larry isn't just playing golf again. He's playing well. My golf game has actually improved since I lost my leg. <laughs> How about that? Now, Larry says his heart goes out to the victims who lost limbs in the Boston Marathon bombings. Recovery is tough and it is expensive, and he hopes to start a foundation for amputees who've lost their right legs to help pay for modifying their cars. Covering medicine in the studio, Lori Tucker.